Hello, everyone. Welcome to class. So today we have a sweet, sweet treat. So we are going to work on our needs. So today's class is called Performance Needs. So this class is dedicated to Megan the Stallion's performance on the BET Awards, um, June, it was Sunday, June 28th or 29th, somewhere right around there. And so uh, her and, and City Girls, they were really getting down. And so I said, well, you know what? I'm going to make a class centered around that. So here are some of the things that you can need in class. A hand towel, your favorite essential oils. I am still rocking with lavender by now. Your block, two block, I like to call this A pillow or a yoga bolster. And a yoga strap or a belt. Just be mindful of the bubble. And some good old water. And for our quiet meditation, you can go into any pose um, that your body. Uh, feels that it needs. So I'm just going to sit in an easy seated position. I'm going to try my block, but uh, if the block is too hard, this is the only block. So if the block is too hard, um, try sitting on your, um, your poster instead. We are going to go into our quiet meditation.
Right. I hopefully I don't know why my words getting twisted all of a sudden, but I hope you enjoyed that quiet meditation. And we are going to do a few rounds of deep breathing. And um, if you're sitting on your block, you can continue sitting on your block. And if you don't, you like look, this block is too hard. Remove it to the side. So we're going to still stay in my easy sitting position. Then we're going to do a few rounds of deep breathing. So you can have your hands at your knees. You can have one hand across your heart, one hand across your belly. And we are just going to get in a few rounds of breath. And while we're still sitting in our easy seated position, let's set an intention for our practice that it be simple, present, and positive. Let's breathe in. Breathe out. Let's remove ourselves from our property. A drink of water. And we are going to come down to our four. We're going to spread our fingers as wide as they can go. And then we're going to do if you want your um, feet tucked. Be mine if you want them tucked or on Now, and so we're going to look up, breathe in, look up, release from my back. Let's get started on our round. And if that is too much for your your knees, you know what? Since we're going to work with the knees, let's go ahead and third piece for our performance knee class. 
And in, I think it's more better to have the toes cup, but if you can do it uncup, great. So we're gonna lift up, breathe in, breathe out. around in circles. Doesn't matter which way you go. Reverse your circle. So it doesn't matter how big or small your circle going. Warming up the hip. Come back to our center. And we are going to thread the needle. So we are going to lift the left hand up. Bring it under. And we're going to softly land on the foot. I mean, the left hand. Down, lift the right arm, bring it back through, and we want to softly land on the right shoulder. You can bring the arm up, place it on the back, or keep it down, or you can also extend the leg out. And we're going to go first down with facing dog. And so, like I said, we're going to preserve the knee for our performance. So, I am going to show you different ways to get to down with facing dog. I have your block on the lower section. And go straight back. Or you can put them on the high, not the highest, maybe the second. And go straight back. And the purpose for these blocks is to bring the floor to you. Or we can just do it without the blocks, and then we can just go straight back. And in this downward facing dog, let's make sure our heels are touching the ground. So we might have to uh, close off our downward facing dog a little bit for our heels to touch the mat. We want to bend one knee. Then the other knee. Let me break them down. Let me get these blocks out of the way so you can see me. Let me take the other. 
prompt for the back. Then one knee, then other knee. Let's raise up on our toes. I like to call them tippy toes, but let's raise up on our toes. Back down on our heels. I mean heels. <laughs> on our toes and our heels. And we want to move the pillow out of the way and we want our feet to our hands. And we're going to halfway lift. So remember, you can halfway lift with your fingertips, touch your mat or on your shin. And we want to fold. And let's stay here in this world. Let's shake our head yes, shake our head no, yes, no, come back to stillness, slowly come up, down the palm, slide back in, break that part in, round the belly. Stay right here and let's get grounded. Take a moment and feel our feet in place on the mat. Down. Forward fold. And remember to go into your forward fold whenever I try like to do mine. I want to do the other, do the wide arm. Step way. Fold. And we lift. Fold. We're going to go into our first Sato Lanza. So that is your high plank, low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Go back to my forward fold. All right. So we're going to step one foot back. It doesn't matter which foot you start with. Get stable. Right foot right back. Get into our high plank. Low plank. Knee to high. And don't forget to be so close to your pillow. Get to the lower side of the dog. The lower side of the dog. Over your left shoulder. Up. Down with the dog. And remember, we're shortening all our dogs so our heels can touch the mat. And let's get our three rounds of deep breathing in. We already got one, so we have two, uh, two more. Oh. Let's stay here at the We are Let your hand wash that. Come back to our full fold. 
One leg back, Just get grounded. you all and so I am going to bring my hands to heart center by the way of tall mountain I'll bring my hands to heart 
type of we're going to step our feet. Well, you all are going to do like that. So I'm facing it the way. So I don't know if my feet are still back. Back. Back with. I don't know what it's going to be called. Let me see if I turn this way. Will I still be able? Okay, so now I my feet are matched with distance. Okay, so I got that out with no turn off. All right, so let's break our hands to heart center. Because I want to see some of you all on that stage. So it doesn't matter if it's a local stage or if it's a national stage. I want to see y'all on the stage. Okay, still have our hands at our heart center. And so we're going to come down to a Buddha squat. So I know the normal squat is to come here, but the Buddha squat, we're going to go all the way down to the ground. Yes, that's right. You heard me. All the way down to the ground. Okay. Let's do a few rounds of ground. All right, all right, you all, we're going to slowly come down. And if this is too much, this is where the two blocks come in, the all one, but I, I need two to, to get up off, bring the ground to me. Okay. And so this is an option to just stay here. But um, I highly suggest to just try it. But if you have knee injury, stay here. We are going to sit here for a minute. And then we're going to go into our Buddha squat. Hello. So get you some more water. Get some more uh, deep breathing in. Let's go. You're going to go back. That don't matter to this way. Make sure I am back. Our hands are the heart center, and we are going to try to make it to. You no, know, we're not going to try. We're going to make it to ten. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if you keep up with me or you go past me, as long as you get ten. Yeah. So, all right. <laughs> All are you ready to go? Yeah, we're ready to go. Let's go. All right. So when we come in, we're going to be sure to bring in our elbows inside of our knees. Come up. So that was one. Two. Three. Five. All right, you all, we're halfway there. We're halfway there. If we got to take a break, take a break right in here. Stay in your squat or get your uh, blocks, slide them up under. Six. Seven. Eight. Hold on, you all. Hold on. I'm coming. I'm coming. Nine. Yeah. Woo, we made it. Grab my two blocks. Let's sit on. Woo. Make sure we got them lined up right so we can slide off of them.
All right, so while we're in our Google Squat, we are going to twist. So we are going to bring the left hand to the right ankle. Uh, bring it in back to our center, and we're going to bring the right hand to the left ankle and spin. So even if you don't grab it, just as long as you point to it, I'll take that. Come back to heart center. All right, so we hope you enjoyed that little break right there sitting on these blocks. So we are going to go into another round of Buddha squats. And this time, we're going to go with extended So We are really going to uh, test our balance today. Let me get my feet back. Let me get a the water. Okay, so my feet are matched with the distance. Let me turn back around this way. Okay, so if this is too intense for you, you can also just bring your hand to the center. Just come down, sit on your two blocks, make sure they are stacked properly on top of each other, and don't slide. Okay, so we are going to. Uh oh, no, look at me. I'm so caught, I'm so used to doing it this way, so I'm gonna have to do it this way. We're going to see how this goes. So we're going to get 10 in as well. So it doesn't matter if uh, stay up with me or if you uh, are behind or if you're ahead of me. Just long as you get in 10 and just do what you can do as a practice. Eventually, we will all get there. Might not be all at the same time, but eventually, we will all get there. All right, bring our arms up and let's slowly bring those knees and the hamburger buns down to the ground. Let's go. Woo! <laughs> Woo! That's one. I'll take it. Woo! Ooh, that's intense right there. Let's let's keep going. Let's keep going. Just do your variation. Go on. That's two. Three. Four. Five, we're halfway there, we're halfway there. Six. Seven. Eight. Come on, y'all. We got two more. Ooh. Ooh. Come on, y'all. We got two more. Ooh. Nine. The 
last one. Ten. Let's hold it. Four. Let's get our two blocks. And we're going to go back into our twist. Right, let, uh, right hand to left ankle. Left hand to right ankle. Hopefully y'all understood what I said, because I think I said, Right hand to left ankle, left hand to right. I'll come back to center. Hold it. Let me hold it with you in case you don't have any block. Let's come down to child pose. Woo, because I know that was a little bit intense. Let's be tall. Woo, I know that was a little bit intense. So let's grab the sweat towel. Remove any sweat. If you have any, we're just going to come down to child pose. This is another resting pose. So if anything is uh, too hard for you, or even you know, if you're not feeling it, come down to child pose. So we just want to have our knees match with distance. And we are just going to bring the apart to the mat. Come back to all four. Hmm. We're going to go back to downward facing. Hmm. <sighs> Let's try to get our hand to come together in the back of our hand. Grab your uh, strap. Oh, that's a good point to turn the long way on our map. So, uh, 
all the faith in you. And we are going to go into Ida. So, I'm going to turn the left foot out, wait for the left. I'm going to turn the right foot out, wait for the right. We are going to come down to our Ruth, I mean, not Ruth, what? <laughs> Goddess. So you can bend it a little bit, or you can really come down. Lift up one toe, lift up the other, lift up both, or if not, just keep planting. I know that is something. All right, so let's do our twist in our goddess. So basically, no, we're not going to do a twist. Let's just dip one shoulder, dip the other shoulder. We're going to do 10 of those. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, woo, ten. Oh, let's come out of bed. All right, so we're going to go back into a, another slot, and I'm going to still give you um, variations on that squat. So we are going to bring our feet together. And we are going to slowly come down. Let's get down ground first. Before we come back. Get in still then. We're going to slow this on that. And that's fine if you have to place your fingers down on the mat. So either we can have our hands on our knees, pick it up, we do the feet simple, and then here's another variation. That's too much. Bring out one leg, that leg face that away, or it can go up. You can slide your palm up under. Again, make sure. Like side launch. Let me go your feet can point up or you can slide down. Then we're gonna get up. Up, up, up. <laughs> and we're gonna go to the other side. Do the same thing. And I just mess that all the way up. Okay. Um, bring our hands to heart center. Bring our hands to heart center. And have our feet out so wide. We can come down. Bring our hands to the mat if we need to. Bring them up to the heart center. Or on your thigh. And then extend. Bring the hands down. Or if you can do it. 
it's in the lake you know. they don't need block Gonna remove the props. And let's come back to our forward fold. We step back to that facing. <sighs> Lift up the left leg. Bend at the knee. Straighten it back up. Bring it through. Look at the chest. I'm showing you the opportunity to get into your pigeon with your bar. That's too much for your hip. You can slide your pillow up under your left hip. Extend. The right leg. Come back. We be upright like this, or we slowly come down to our floor. And if this is too much, I'm going to show you how to do it on your back. So you come back to your back. One, one uh, leg over the knee, bring it up, bring it up. This is vision. All right, now we are going to go into our work position. Choose whatever variation works for you. And choose whatever blocks and pillows or everything else that you need to get comfortable in this position. Slowly come back up and put your left hand back. There's another opportunity to grab your um, shoulder. You're going to just cheat. 
if you're on your back, just put it And if you're laying on your stomach, like the rest of us, which swing that right hand around. So it's optional if you want the leg to go straight or if you want to come in. And let's come back to the back side. imaginary Yeah. 
no, but let's slide it. And it's big. It has blocks. One foot in, not this one. Now it flows this way. Center. Take a foot out, Frank. Center. To the chest. Come back into our quiet meditation. So you can go into whatever position your body feels that it needs. Just actually just lay out on your mat. Or you can come back to the easy position with either your block or your um, your bolster. Almost fell down. Worked on the knees a little bit. Not a little bit. Worked on the knees a whole lot. And so, um, that was the thought. Be your best plan tonight. You just want to close down the eyes and just enjoy this quiet meditation. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, well, it's time to, to come out of the quiet meditation. And if you um, are laying on your back, just uh, roll over to the side. Lay there for a minute. Get up and come to an easy position. And we are going to bring out then we want to take a few rounds of deep breathing. Let's bring our thumbs to third eye. And let's take a final breath together as a class. Inhale. Exhale. Thank you for joining us today as we work on our knees. We're going to get them ready for performance. Like I said, it doesn't matter if it's the big stage or the local stage. We're going to get these knees together again. Thank you for joining us. See you soon. Thank <laughs> you.